So when we think about use of force, right, we need to have an idea, you know, of what is the actual frequency. So something that I'll ask like students, right, is that if we think about, you know, what is the frequency of use of force? I can think of situations of where, you know, students in some of my classes, right, will have said, you know, they think 20% of all contacts you know, are related to, uh, have, like, police use of force of some kind, right? I've even had people say that they think that number is high, is as high as 40% of all contacts have use of force. And the part that's like interesting about this, right, is that when they when people come up with this number or its justification, right, you know, a lot of it isn't in, maybe informed about the perception that it's more frequent, more available, more out there than most people think, right? You know, we hear about it on the news, it's on spread on social media, um, you know, it's something that's frequently discussed, and so the instance rate of it is much higher. But if we start like giving people a little bit more information, right, you know, we know that in America, right, there are about, you know, 53 to 63 million contacts between the police and public each year. And that's going to be contacts like on a traffic stop, on a pedestrian stop, you know, something like that. So in this particular case, right, you know, if this if this was true, right, this person is bas is more or less saying that they think that there are ten point six, you know, million, uh, you know, uses of force, you know, in, in the country per year, right? And this person is, you know, really saying, you know, they think that there's like, uh, what is what is that, uh, twenty one point two million per year. which is a crazy high number to think, right? Because if it really was like that, right? If police had no restriction, no training, we would probably, you know, like have very different conversations about use of force in America right now. But with this kind of number, right, you know, it really asks us like a couple different questions, right? You know, so the one is going to be, you know, what kind of force is the kind... Um, that we're concerned about and the other part is you know what exactly is force and there because there are like different types and there are different use cases of it right as we you know kind of discussed so one way to think about this, right, is that there are, if we start thinking about use of force, there are many different, you know, possible uses that come in, right? So if we have, you know, force for the police, right, ones that we're always going to think of, right, are going to be like deadly force, right? So if someone is using a gun, we can think of times, you know, when people might be using like a taser. You know, we can also think of instances um, where they, you know, could be using, like, a baton on someone. Um, you know, they are using their, like, hands and feet. You know, they, have, like, are striking, you know, someone like that. Or, you know, if it's as simple, really, as putting on handcuffs. So, you know, you know, there's also instances, right, where the goal is not necessarily to inflict pain, right, but we do maybe put our hands on it. It's like a firm grip kind of situation where we're trying to escort someone. We're not trying to hurt them, right, but we are using, like, a firm grip kind of thing. So once we see, like, these are all different instances, right, you know, we, we can maybe start to understand, um, like, a little bit what's going on. And if we think back to this number, right, you know, 53 to 60 million different contacts, right, 
how much force is like actually used in that. And so when we think about how often force is actually used, the real number comes out to be about 2% of all contacts involve force. So in this, you know, particular case, right? So, you know, I think like what, you know, so this is like an exceptionally, it's kind of, I think this comes out on the 53 million, right? You know, it's like 985,000 or something like that. I think it's something like that. In cases like where, you know, force is actually used on people per year. And if you think about something like deadly force, right, where, like, say, an officer is trying to shoot someone and, like, you know, maybe killing them, right? You know, this is about a 1,000 people per year. So the goal of this, then, you know, is, like, showing that maybe what is presented in reality, right, is, or on, on TV and news, right, doesn't necessarily match about the day-to-day -day behavior of police officers and what they encounter. But um, we certainly have this idea that's happening as much. And even of this 1,000 per year, right, we don't hear about the vast majority of them, right? Um, and, you know, because a lot of, like, the discussion about this, you know, framed a lot of, like, social discussions, right? And, you know, it, it becomes interesting like, when we start, you know, consi considering, like, what is permissible or impermissible use of force. Before we get to that, at uh, the yawn, <coughs> excuse me, but then we also, you know, think about this as, like, a continuum kind of problem. So if we set, like, an outline, right, of the different kinds of force, right, and we have, you know, continuum ending here, and we have it end here, right, we can think of, like, the extremes pretty easily. You know, so here we have deadly force, which I'm abbreviating as DEF, right? But we also, at this very end, right, you know, we have, like, this presence of, like, an actual officer, right? And so everything else kind of falls in between, right? So within the presence, right, we also have the ability to give, like, a verbal command, or an officer does, you know, for you to do something, right? You know, it's a directive, we're not putting hands on anyone, but we are kind of escalating, right? You know, we can maybe escalate this, right, depending on if it is a, you know, firm, you know, command voice. Without, again, without using any kind of, like, weapons or anything like that, right? But it's a more directing, commanding, you know, kind of tone, right? And here, right, is, you know, we also start getting into maybe something like a firm grip. So we're putting hands on someone, but we're not using pain in order to compliance, right? Here, you know, we might start using, like, you know, a pain compliance. We might be using, like, our hands and feet. We're not trying to you know, really, like, hurt someone, right, yet, I mean, well, I guess we are trying to get into, like, go along with this, right, that's kind of at this level. And then maybe at this level, you know, we have some, like, non-lethal tools used before we actually get to deadly force. So what ends up happening, and uh, if we think about, like, use of force, right, is that we... Probably about here is when you start having a problem. But most of the time, right, police are able to manage people with this level of force, right? It's really not that bad. Um, or I guess, like, you know, that's what the most is, right? You know, this is going to be 98% of all contacts are handled without using any kind of, like, weapons or striking anyone or pulling a gun or something like that, right? Okay, so we'll take a pause here, and then we'll continue the next video.